Well, uh, you'd been married for a long time, uh, two sons, like you mentioned. Mm-hmm. And then in 2011, uh, it was exposed that you were having an affair uh, with a woman that was 22 years younger than you, uh, Kristen Cadell. Am I pronouncing it right? I believe so. Yeah. Number one, who exactly was following you and and capturing? Because I guess there was uh, some video of the it two was, of you. There was a, you're, what you're referring to is a tabloid story that got legs for a couple of weeks. And so much of it was inaccurate and wrong. And um, people had a little bit of a heyday with it. But it was, you know, I've said everything I'm going to say on it, you know. It was, you know, it was a National Enquirer story and it had all the credibility of a National Enquirer story. It was mm. a moment caught that was taken out of context and and much more was made of it than was worthy, I believe. Well, then in 2013, there was a photo that surfaced of the two of you kissing. And then it was announced that you're going to be let go uh, from Dateline, well, from NBC. Was it over that photo? No, the, the, the two things had nothing to do with each other. You know, look, Dateline was going in a different direction. I was there doing a lot of investigative stuff, but also the murder stuff. And, you know, there was discussion about different roles and different things. And I had the opportunity to do a lot of different things at that time. And and so to to, to suggest the two were linked would not, it's just not true. Okay. And, uh, you know, the woman... She wrote an open letter at one point, said that uh, she can't find a job anymore and her career was ruined and, and everything else like I'm that. I'm familiar with it all. I mean, people yeah. say people say a lot of things when they, they're they desperate and, and and people could say what they want. I'm, I'm comfortable with um, the way I dealt with it. How did your wife take it? You know, uh, it wasn't a big issue in my life. It just wasn't. Okay. Were you guys separated at that point? We're divorced now. Uh huh. Were well, you divorced in 2018? Uh, we've been legally separated for quite some time before the divorce. Ah, okay. I mean, a lot of people felt like it was karma to a certain degree. Here you are. I don't buy into any of that. Look, I mean, you know, people people who live public lives, you know this. People mm-hmm. say that you're an informant for the FBI. Right. That's, I'm guessing exactly. that's probably not true. So, right. you know, people talk a lot of smack. And, you know, when you reach that level, the lesson I think is that, at least for me, you have to make sure that you completely conduct yourself in, in the appropriate way. Because if you do find yourself having a little too much fun or hang out with people maybe you shouldn't be hanging out, you create the opportunity for somebody to, to, to say something or do something. True or not, that could be misconstrued or, or that could make the tabloids. And that's, you know, nobody needs that. I mean, was it a hit piece from the Inquirer? Was it like yes, a, re- it was a revenge? Yes, so much of it was wrong. I, I don't think it was revenge. I think I think it was, um, you know, somebody took advantage of a situation and made it look like something it wasn't, and that's the end of it. Got it. 